time today and I was asking my wife who's driving what should I do for a video do you have any ideas and she thought for a while and then she said so what are your ideas and I said no no I'm asking you for ideas and she said oh and then she said what about what you would play over kind of famous solo backings and I thought isn't that just going to make me look like a horrendous dickhead because I'm saying this is what I'd have played and she said well yeah if you say it like that but if you say it that it's like an improvisational exercise and you know if you say uh, so I said yeah okay right I'll, I'll give this a try and I'll try and find a way to phrase it which doesn't make me seem as bad as it probably is so the first thing to say is that the choice that I made here was to take John Bon Jovi or Bon Jovi it's not even John you can lose the John living on a prayer now this is one of my favorite tunes to play live it's one of my favorite solos in the world and when I play it live I sort of pretty much play something like the original solo I don't think I do as many of the double stops or anything but you know I'm trying to hit those melodies and I think it's one of the most recognizable melodies in a guitar solo that I can think of it's just fantastic it repeats a phrase it's basically just its own little kind of song within a song in some ways and you know it's not super technically flashy or anything but you've got some bends in there you've got some opportunities to sound like a guitarist and all that stuff anyway so it's in E minor and I first sat down, the video, the one that you heard at the start there was my very last one. So the first couple of times that I tried this, I'm going to put the backing track at the end of this video as well if you want to try this yourself. And the thing is that it's quite a small section of music. So I've given you like the run up, which is like the pre-chorus uh, into solo. So you've got that run up, the pre-chorus, and then you could just play the original solo over it. So I did that. Or you could try to avoid playing the original solo. And I think the first few times you try this, because it's such a recognisable thing, you're going to find it a little bit difficult to find your own way around it. Maybe this is the goal, I think, of playing a really good solo, is that you could almost not imagine the song without that being there or something. That could be like the end goal, right? That if we want to truly sound like a, a really good guitarist, that's the thing about that song for me, is that I can barely imagine living on a prayer without that key moment in it happening and you know probably for most of us maybe we'll never be in the opportunity to be that player or whatever but we can imagine it can't we in our bedrooms or something anyway what i'm thinking is because this is quite a straightforward progression to play over i'm just thinking g major e minor throughout so that's my kind of relative thinking and i'm just trying to craft a melody in there sometimes as well i think it's really useful to start off with the original solo maybe you take it off your own way and then come back to the original solo and see if you can kind of weave in and out of improvisation i think this is i've been speaking to some of you guys on skype and a lot of you are interested in improvisation so these are the things that i might try to do um, over the backing track as well like this i'd also just practice outlining the scale properly or the pentatonics whatever i'm using i just try and run it up and down the neck um you know so that i can be sure that i actually know what key i'm playing inside you know bits and pieces like just running up and down i might find a phrase that i like the sound of You know, and don't be afraid to sound like the original solo because if I could improvise something that sounded like that, I'd be super happy with that. So you're thinking maybe it doesn't all have to be super shreddy either. And I was just explaining to Tom yesterday that when I'm thinking about melody, potentially part of what I do to practice this is try and play an existing melody in this context. So you hear hopefully one of these solos sounds to you reminiscent of another solo which does not really fit here that's just kind of what i'm demonstrating so leave in the comments if you picked up what that was but just playing something from another solo in the context here can help to take you out of that idea of either theoretical thinking or um, analytical thinking or scale thinking but more thinking about how to fit a melody from another home inside this home so that's an, another big part i think of 
good improvisation is that there's some melody in there that maybe sounds a bit familiar or you know could be passed off as being an existing melody already now these generally in the heat of improvisation are going to come from sort of either nowhere or muscle memory or something like that but that's kind of to try and get in the back door i would try to quote other solos or you know instead of thinking about it as super lick bass playing though i'd think about it being like melody so you might try to play um nelly Furtado's man eater over this Anyway, give that a try. Hopefully that inspires you to grab a guitar and try it. As I say, I'm just thinking E minor for this, G major, E pentatonic, G major pentatonic, this sort of thing, C Lydian, whatever you want to do to think about this, play whatever you like over it. Um, obviously, this is your backing track now to play over. But just try to think about what you would have done to make your mark on that solo or something like that. I think because generally when we play live for me or when we get to play it's actually over quite a short section that you've got to make an impact so i don't know why don't we practice playing over these little small sections that um are more like what we actually get to do live maybe let me know in the comments as well if you thought this was a good idea or sacrilegious or whatever it was as i say this is actually one of my favorite solos in the world so it feels a bit weird to to not be playing something like the original solo but um i thought it might be a fun idea thanks to lenny for that and yeah, let me know in the comments if you've got suggestions for other backing tracks or other kind of iconic tunes that you'd want done in this way. I think Eric Johnson, for example, was uh, there was a video on Rick Beato's channel, wasn't there, of him playing over Stairway to Heaven. Uh, I thought maybe that's interesting. Obviously, I'm not Eric Johnson, but I don't know. That was what I would play over it. Cheers. Feel free to like and subscribe.